Hello crafty friends, today I'm showing you this almost die cutting card and I'm using for the candle some pattern paper, this one is from Komiya Pan and from the for the candle flame I'm using vellum and I colored the vellum in with my Copic marker. I'm using here a pretty dark yellow because on vellum it always tend to lighten the colors. And I'm coloring here a piece because I will die cut my flames later from. Now you can see I'm die cutting my flames and all the pieces I put in a little jar so they stay all together. My background, I'm ink blending here with some distress inks and some inks from Crafters Companion. They are new and I really like them but I don't have that much colors so I have to use my distress inks also and I'm going here from darkest to lightest color and trying to blend yellow to blue it's just working because I'm leaving the middle part more or less white because the candles will be in the front so there is no need to color and maybe mess out because yellow and blue will be green and I didn't want green color on my card because I wanted everything blue and yellow. This card I'm creating is for my um, chef. <laughs> I guess it is in English also, I don't know. And we colleagues always um, put money together and give each other a little, yeah, like um, thinking of you, card and message and yeah. I'm using here for the blue the peacock feather, the yellow one was squeezed lemonade and I didn't remember the color from Crafters Companion and as always I splattered some water droplets over my card. The candles, each candle is already um, with Tombow Mono Multi glue behind the candle because um, if the liquid is dried they are removable again and um, yeah so I could stick them but remove if I need it. And um, the candles, I wanted them to have um, different heights so I'm cutting them down now to the right sides. I um, made a mark before. I used a pencil to draw in how long the candles have to be. You can see it, I guess. Yeah, now it's done. And now I'm punching some holes in where I want my LEDs to shine. And now, as always, I'm tracing the holes on the card panel, no, on the card base. And now I have to trace where the candles are because later I want um, this will be a different slider press push mechanism. I don't even know how to call it. And um, I want that the slider mechanism is behind the candles. And now I'm painting the circuit in. This is the circuit from the LEDs to this slider piece thing. And this time it was a little bit hard for me to place my battery down. Then I decided I can do it on the top of the card. And um, Later I will tell you something that I did because I placed my battery there. Tracing my circuit in and now my LEDs. I like to trace the circuit down when the circuit is getting a little bit complicated because then I can avoid making mistakes. Even I do. Now I'm creating the circuit, I'm using here my copper tape and the bone folder and um, 
making sure that I press the copper tape good to the paper and then that I make this um, harder edges to um, make curves instead so it is easier I hope it makes sense for you but I guess you can see it pretty good in my video and now I'm taping down two layers of foam tape because there will be my slider mechanism on top of the card and this is how I do it I guess there are other method to create this mechanism but this is the way I do it and I'm taping on top of the double sided um, foam tape a strip of paper that is folded in the middle and you will see later because we need this to be folded in the middle now taping down the other half of the circuit and now okay not now but <laughs> in just a second I will tape copper tape on the flap so when you press down the circuit is closed and just one LED will be shining but first I'm taping my battery and now I'm writing down if it's minus or plus so maybe it is easier for you but as long as the LEDs stay in the same um, direction it's equal if it's minus or plus so now this is the part where we make the slider part work because now you can see that when I fold the flap down then the circuit is closed but not yet because there are the LEDs left pressing my, my copper tape down and now I want to check it's working and this piece of copper tape I like to do it because um, in case there are the LEDs aren't good enough pressed to the paper it's helpful that the mechanism works even if you send it maybe with mail or, or something and I did it also for the other side of the circuit but I didn't want to show you again in the video and because I have my battery on top of the shining LEDs you would see it behind the white card panel and this is why I'm taping here a piece of black cardstock behind my card panel so the lights will just shine through the little holes there and now these are all three layers of foam tape and I like to put some monomotic glue on top because um, I have chance to wiggle a little bit the card panel so that the holes are on top of the light. Sorry my head is pretty often in the way but I wanted to make sure that I'm taping everything on the right place. Now it's just adhering the fire to the candle and it took me quite a while this is why I sped up a little bit and I'm using here multi medium because in my opinion it's good to tape to glue vellum because you won't see it as it dries matte okay now just fixing here some candle lights and this is um great cardstock and I'm just stamping with my Versamark ink um, slide here and some arrows for the right direction for sure you could um, slide in the other direction but um, yeah I think it's good to have just one direction so the recipient knows where to press and 
what to do. Now you can see the mechanism is working and I die cut here from red cardstock from Folia. Um, this zum Geburtstag, it's German and needs um, for your birthday and I sticked, stick it adhesive behind my red cardstock so I could adhere it easily and in my opinion the red cardstock was fitting the best for this card and I hope you enjoyed my card for today. I also added some stars from Lucy's Little Things and had some fun sliding around and um, bringing the candles to light up. Here are some other videos I created with Chibitronics and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial for today and I hope to see you back soon again. Bye!